What's up guys? In this video, I'll show you how I made this photo montage using a render of a model I made in SketchUp and a photo I took from the internet. The final result is actually going to be part of a thumbnail for a video series I'll be making. I'm not sure about the format yet, but it'll probably feature 5 minute videos of me reviewing all my favorite plugins for SketchUp. So if you feel this is something that you could find interesting, please don't hesitate to click that subscribe button. Anyway, I was pretty satisfied with the final result of the thumbnail, so I decided to share with you guys the process of making it. I won't go over every single detail of it, because some of it is pretty basic stuff, but I'll jump in when I feel there is an interesting point to be made. So I started by just isolating parts of the hand and outlet photo and putting them on a separate layers. I'm using the polygonal lasso tool for precise selecting and clone stamp tool to fill in the missing detail. Here I use the magic wand tool to select the rest of the background because in cases like this, when there is a clear strong line between areas, like here between the hand and the background, this tool works great and there's no need for zooming in and drawing the outline. Here I inserted the 2D SketchUp logo that I was going to model in SketchUp later just to position the outlet on it and to get an idea on how the end product will look like. The distort tool I used to correct the perspective is found in the edit menu under transform. Now finally in SketchUp, I opened the match photo tray, added the photo of the SketchUp logo and adjusted direction lines to get the correct perspective, so that I could model the logo more easily.
Now it was time to create the materials. I could have gone with the plain red and white color, but I wanted to add some texture on them and wanted to do that by adding a bump map. I also added the same map to the diffuse layer just to control better the scale of the bump map. Later, I switch off the texture in the diffuse layer and just added the color. If what I'm saying is confusing to you and you want to know more about bump maps and how to control them, follow the link for the video in the right upper corner. At this point, I needed to render a shadow that a hand holding the plug would form on the ground. And to do that, I had to export the image with the 2D SketchUp logo and then match the photo with the scene to be able to model a rough approximation of the shape of the hand. After I rendered the final image, I realized the shadows were too striking and that the lighting of the scene didn't quite match the lighting of the photo of the hand. The photo was probably taken in studio conditions with three-point lighting so that the shadows were very soft, almost unnoticeable. So I made the sun size bigger and rendered the image again. Back to Photoshop. First I brightened the image using levels to whiten the background. Then I distorted the outlet so that it fit the perspective. After that, I erased the border of the outlet with a big amount of feather to blend the outer better with the white background. And then I used the clone stamp tool to remove the shape that was giving us that smooth shadow of the hand. I ran into a problem right here, where the clone stamp tool wasn't helpful since there was no suitable area to clone. So I copied an area that I mirrored and rotated to hide that last part of the handshake. duplicated the rendered layer, changed its mode from normal to overlay and added a high pass filter. This is actually a very popular technique to add more sharpness and detail to your renders.
Last thing I did is reduce the saturation of the hand as well as lower this contrast just a bit to better fit the look and the feel of the rest of the scene. Now all that's left to do is to position the subject where I want it to and uh, fill the empty areas with the good old clone stamp tool. So that's it guys, hope you like this tutorial. It's a bit different than my usual ones, uh, let me know in the comments if you would like to see more of this kind of videos. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would really help me a lot. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.